Hey folks, it's Brian. Time for another weekend update. We're going to take a look today at the Musa Double Mahoy. I'm also going to show you a bunch of the plants that are going to go inside for winter. We're starting to watch the weather now and check in for nights to be below 50 degrees. Then we'll start pulling some of this stuff inside. So we're going to take a look at the flamboyant tree or the Royal Poinciana. Uh, we're going to take a look also at the lobster claw that I got this year and uh, take a look at the Moose Bass Juice as always, see what's going on with the pods and a few other things. One of the things I did this week was I repotted a bunch of the plants that I have. I repotted a bunch of Trachycarpus palms that I have, as well as some Superdorf Cavendish bananas that I got, and then a couple of the shade plants as well, a hosta and a fern. I also got a pot for the coconut palm and you can't replant pots without having a dance party. So over here, we've got the Musa double Mahoy. It's doing well. It's doubled in size and it's got a little pup coming up. So that's pretty exciting. This one will go inside for the winter. So looking to find a place for that it needs to get trimmed up a little bit, but that one's doing okay. I repotted a bunch of these Trachycarpus palms, put them in a bigger pot. Those will also go inside. No point leaving them out for the winter since they're small enough they can fit in. We got a surprise over here with this torch lily. It put out a second batch of flowers. We've got four different kinds of torch lilies in our yard. Uh, this is the only one that's done this so you can see this one came first and is now fully bloomed the others it's got four other new flowers that are coming up so kind of cool that it's it's thrown up another batch so here's some of the other stuff that's going to go inside for the winter this is a golden lotus banana. It's done really well here in this pot. I put a couple in the ground. Those have not done as well. I think I'm going to dig one of them out, stick it in a pot as well. And then this one over here, I'll leave in the ground, maybe put a wrap on it or something just to see if it can sustain outside in the, in the winter here. That way I'll keep two inside, two alive for next year. Now here is the Royal Poinciana that I got earlier this year. It's doing real well. I had a few of the leaves yellow because it missed too many days without water. I was sharing this drip head and forgot to switch it back. But other than a few yellow leaves, it's doing really well. All of this is new growth from the time that I got it. Everything that it had when I got it turned into sticks. But it's been happy so far. This will need to go inside pretty soon because it's starting to touch into the high 40s at night and it doesn't like that <laughs> so it'll have to go in here pretty soon a little hummingbird getting what he can from the bee balm over here we've got the lobster claw it's looking okay it got really scorched uh, when I first got it, e even though I put it in an area that didn't get a lot of sun, it was more than it could handle. And I lost a few of the stalks. It looks like they're not going to grow back. This one is, is toast. This one is toast. Um, it has put out this one's brand new right here this one's brand new also so let's put a few few new ones out which is good i think it'll be fine but that'll go inside uh probably in the next couple of weeks as well along with the uh, bird of paradise this is the one i picked up from home depot two weeks ago so taking a look at the musa bass juice not a lot has changed <laughs> Flower pods are all kind of where they've been, just a little bit further along. Bananas still all green. 
that's the first pod that was out. There's pod four. Pod three back in there. Hard to see from here. There's better look at pod three. Number two is the one that I cut off and ate the uh, flower pot on. So there's that. Now this one in the back, you can tell at this point, it is flowering. So we've got a pod coming out right there. That's number seven. And then number six is this one in the front here that is flowering as well. So we've got a pod coming out on that one. So in total, we'll lose seven of the big ones. Not too worried about it. We've got a lot of new pups that came in this year and they're all quite tall. Uh, lots to choose from down here. And it'll be just as full next year. I'd expect this one to get 12 to 14 feet tall, no problems next year. That's already nine feet tall. Thanks for tuning in this week. I've got a couple other videos planned for later on in the coming week. I'm going to split the inset or one of the insets that I have into four. I'm going to record that and turn that into a video and then trying to get through some of my older videos. Uh, my trip to Salt Spring Island, I want to put out a video on that. And I've got an update coming as well on the six foot Musa Bastri that I cut down. You'll see a 28 day update on that in the next day or two. So thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.